everybody, it's Teresa with ReStixon.com and today's ornament for our bundled up cozy Christmas tree are these old fashioned mittens. I mean, we had to do mittens, right? Just like the sweater we did from yesterday, the tree would not be complete without some mittens on it. So I decided to do this, this old fashioned way, uh, like I remember as a kid having, like as a tiny kid, having gloves that had the string in between them that would kind of run through the coat so you couldn't lose one of the pairs. So that's how I decided to do these because it's cute, but also because this makes it a very convenient way to hang from your Christmas tree. So these are made out of polar fleece, but you can use any fabric that looks cozy. And because I love you, I've made you a pattern. You could just trace your hand and that would work just fine, but I made you a pattern so that you can spare yourself any grief. So download this from my blog. I'll be sharing the link where you can find it. And um, so once you've got, okay, so once you've cut this out, you're gonna trace this a whole bunch of times. What you'll need is four pieces in an exterior fabric, and you'll have to flip the pattern. So one time you trace it with a thumb facing left and the next you trace it with a thumb facing right so that you'll have both you'll have a matching pair and so you'll need two pieces for the left mitten two pieces for the right mitten and then you'll need to do the same thing over again with your lining fabric two pieces for the left mitten two pieces for the right mitten okay so then you cut those all out on the sharpie line and you sew them up and I've already saved myself that step to show you and you can, you might be able to see, I have a really short seam allowance. It's probably even under a quarter of an inch. Uh, it's really like as close to the edge as I felt comfortable doing it because um, these are so small, you want to leave yourself as little, you know, stuff going on inside as possible. So once I got that all sewn up, then I took a pair of scissors, I still have to do this one, and I clipped right into that seam where the thumb, like the thumb pit, <laughs> where the thumb meets the hand. You clip that seam right up to the seam allowance and that makes it so that there's room to move. It won't be bound up. Okay, so with that done, now it's time to put your lining on inside your glove. So turn the exterior pieces right side out and you'll leave your lining pieces just the way they are. So there's my glove and here's my lining and I'm just going to shove this right inside. It can take a little maneuvering. Might even have to wear it a little bit, especially when it comes to that thumb. I'll put my finger right inside there and shove it right inside that thumb piece like that. And so this just takes a little bit of fiddling, but once you get it all the way you want it, then you have to line up these cuffs. So what I do is just fold those under so that we can finish those edges. Just maybe half an inch, maybe even less than that. Just fold those raw edges under, both for the exterior and the lining, and pin those in place as you go like that. So I'm going to do the whole thing and pin them in place so that it's ready for me to take it to the sewing machine. Here's my gloves all pinned up, ready to sew, but before I do I have to attach my string so that I can't lose a set of my mittens. So I like to place those right on the thumb part, right where that seam line is. So I'm going to tuck that in between the exterior and the lining and then put my pin back in place. <laughs> I just realized I said that all with a pin in my mouth. Hopefully that is still understandable. And I'll do that for the other side. And then I'm ready to just sew all the way around there. Okay, my gloves are sewn and that's really it. I like to turn the cuffs over so you can see that great contrasting lining. Tug. And there you go. You got these sweet little mittens and it took no time at all. I think you could probably even 
use these. I think these would be perfectly functional <laughs> if you've got a cute little kid who's always losing their mittens. Uh, you just have to make the string a little bit longer, that's all. So I'm gonna go hang these on my Christmas tree. I'm gonna make a few more, and we're getting very close, so you're not gonna wanna miss the big unveiling of the tree when it's completed. That is coming up very soon. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.